In our next segment tonight, we're diving into a story that's as twisted as the plot of Inception. But unfortunately, it's all too real. Disney, the same company that brought us The Lion King in Frozen, is now trying to pull off a legal stunt that's leaving everyone scratching their heads. So get this. A New York University doctor tragically passed away after suffering a fatal allergic reaction at a Disney Springs restaurant. Her grieving husband, Jeffrey Piccolo, is now suing Disney for wrongful death, seeking damages for the unimaginable pain and loss he's endured. Now here's where it gets wild. Disney, in all their corporate wisdom, is trying to get the lawsuit thrown out because, wait for it, Piccolo signed up for Disney Plus back in 2019. That's right, because he agreed to the terms and conditions when he signed up for a free trial of Disney Plus. Disney claims he's got to take this whole matter to arbitration instead of court. It's like they're saying, sorry, you can't sue us for anything because you once binge watched The Mandalorian. But Piccolo's attorneys aren't buying it. They've called Disney's argument preposterous and outrageously unreasonable. And honestly, I honestly don't think they're wrong. It's one thing to lock in a streaming deal, but it's a whole other level of madness to claim that the agreement covers a life or death situation at a restaurant. Disney's lawyers are really working overtime on this one, but it feels like they're trying to use Aladdin's magic carpet to fly over the judicial system. Piccolo's team fired back, pointing out that he's not suing on his own behalf, but as the representative of his late wife's estate. And they're absolutely right in questioning how a streaming service agreement could possibly override the right to a jury trial in such a serious case. It's like signing up for Disney Plus also signed away your right to hold them accountable for anything and everything under the sun. Talk about some Mickey Mouse legal tactics. The case stems from an incident last October when Piccolo's wife tragically passed away after dining at Raglan Road Irish Pub and Restaurant. Despite clearly informing the staff about her severe nut and dairy allergies, she suffered an anaphylactic reaction after eating there. An EpiPen was administered, but sadly it wasn't enough to save her. Now, Piccolo is seeking over $50,000 in damages, including mental pain, loss of income, and funeral expenses. Disney, however, seems to be more focused on a technicality that's as flimsy as a, a plot of Cinderella 2. This case is far from over, and you can bet we'll be keeping an eye on how it unfolds. But in the meantime, Disney might want to rethink its legal strategy. Because honestly, trying to dodge a wrongful death lawsuit with a Disney Plus subscription is like trying to stop a hurricane with a pair of mouse ears. Anyway, that's it for this segment on the movie news. Let me know in the comments if you think Disney's legal argument holds any water, or if it's just a desperate attempt to duck responsibility. And don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to the movie blog for more updates on the biggest stories in the movie world. Catch you next time. Peace.